the, the Ijo people have been known for a certain struggle. And then the question would be, where is the IJC in that struggle for the Ijo nation right now? What does it look like, especially because it's a youthful movement? What does it look like right now? Um, frankly speaking, uh, the Ijo IYC as an organization over time has always stand. And that is what I was even trying to let you understand. In Bayelsa State, the only homogeneous uh, Ijo state in the Niger Delta, under the uh, past uh, governor, Senator Doyedri, where we have over 70% youth participation, both in position of commissioner, essays, and even uh, agencies. That is what we are trying to see. How are we preparing our youth to take over position of power? How are we preparing our youth to engage them in place of power, position of trust? And uh, perhaps our state and uh, the Ijo uh, formal uh, IYC leadership and other Ijo leaders came in to give the governor those advice and it was implemented. And we see that youth in their little way contributed effectively. Tomorrow, next tomorrow, if there are other higher positions that will be given to them, we believe that they can do very well. And how I see as an organization over time as I always stand in to see how we can build synergy between governors and youths. In areas of engaging and interfacing with IOCs, the IYC has always been at the forefront as a, as a, as a pressure group. We want youth participation in every area that has to do with youth involvement and youth training. Secondly, when you go to the issues of uh, the river states and politics of the Niger Delta and the contemporary Nigerian states in general, you will see that the political godfathers doesn't really want the youth to have a space. And that has been a very serious body. Citizenry participation, youth participation in governance, we really have to do what we call about characterization. Youth characterization and uh, integrity coming to play is one way that we believe that those issues can easily be solved. Today, we have a youth governor in River State. But those political gladiators wouldn't allow a youth governor of the, the likes of the, the, the incumbent governor to have space because they really want to be always dictating for the youth. They believe that the youth are tools that they will use the way they want. And the IYC is telling them that, no, what we need as a people is good governance and youth involvement. Incorporate youth into a position of trust, and you will see that there will be relative peace in our society. Incorporate youth into areas that has to do with governance and leadership, and you will see that the, there will be relative peace in those societies. Right. And that is why you see that we have been trying to call the attention of Mr. President and look, the peace of River State and every other Niger Delta state is very, very important to the IYC and the entire youth of the Niger Delta. <laughs>